Hello, this is Shade Catchem, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Ruby Arrowfell. I'm just pretty much gonna get right into it and see where we left off with Atlas Downtown. Oh, not gonna waste time with you. Yep, another skill point. Okay. I had a quick look through the achievements. Oh, God. That could have gone better. I had a quick look through the achievements uh, off screen. None of the hidden ones, but I'm guessing the hidden ones are just like complete chapter two and so forth. And one of them was apparently to hold on to 10 skill points at a time, which is a bit of an odd achievement to have. It's not something you would think to do. Most people would think to just upgrade on the characters as soon as they got a skill point. But okay, I only have to get four more. Uh-oh. You. You're a Moncio Glass. Is it a Moncio? I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I imagine there's going to be a cutscene. <laughs> and you're the so-called Huntresses who have been sniffing around my operation. Why, oh, you're nothing but a bunch of children. I hope you have an actual voice so I can know if my imitation is good or not. Or at least decent. Even Ironwood's Aesop's no better than intru to intrude in my affairs. You've been dealing in experimental military technology, and we want answers on exactly what you're up to. Is that? Ah, there we go. Clip. Is that one of the Schnee daughters I see? Girl, you'd best run back to Daddy. You do not want to get mixed up in this. Um, no. Let Let's not run back to Jocks, please. Too late, we're here, together, to get some answers, one way or the other. <laughs> do you mean to say you wish to do battle? Ha! <laughs> Don't you all know who I am, what I'm capable of? I mean, no, not really. Bad stuff, I'd assume? Yeah, I haven't... I've never heard of you before this game. So, you're kind of a nobody. Let's finish this right here! Well, this is awkward. So, should we go after him? Well, this is happening. Amancio Glass, her next boss foul. Oh god! Uh, Weiss? Please? Oh god, let me get my bearings. Oh god! Okay. Okay, the platform will keep me safe. Huh. So just keep out of the way of the rock and Can I hit you? Um apparently not. Whoops! Meant to hit the semblance button. Come on, wait. 
semblance. There we go. I'm guessing... Whoopsies. Just barely. Okay. I know I'm not talking much, but I really, like, need to focus here. The fact that I can't hit the missiles down is a bit... ...awkward. Huh. 
I actually thought that was going to go on for a bit longer. Like, I was worried that I was taking too long for the boss battle, and I probably did, but... Huh. I'll admit, I probably didn't have as much fun with that battle as I did with the Goliath. Just because... I, I don't know, I feel like, realistically, I should have been able to... Well, th this is a fantasy story, but you know what I mean. Logically, I should have been able to, like, cut through the missiles with at least Ruby's attacks. But I suppose it's fine since uh, you can just, like, redirect them with the Shadow Clones. I didn't think to do that. Probably because... Now that I'm thinking about it, it doesn't make that much sense either. <laughs> if they were, like, heat-seeking missiles, which I would assume they were just because they were tracking you, then, yeah, it wouldn't make sense for them to go after a Shadow Clone. Eh, but whatever. Also, the fact that while they're there, I guess you kind of have to rely on them because you can't really, like, dash through him without taking a hit. Eh, whatever. Enough! Stop, stop, stop! You've gone and completely demolished the glass cannon Mark II. Oh, achievement unlocked. Aces and wild cards. I'm sorry, wait a minute. You called it the, the glass cannon Mark II? So you had a one before that? What happened to it? I'll tell you oh, whatever you want to know. Just promise you'll leave here. Tell us everything about the orbs right now, mister. Orbs? Is there an orb? You want to get wrecked again? No, please wait. I remember what you mean now. Those things are used as bait. Bait for Grim. The contents inside attract them from all around. What? Impossible. Everybody knows only negative emotions can attract Grim. What are you putting in those things? Also, apparently, strong aura can attract the Grim, I think. I think that was mentioned in one of the books before the dawn, I believe it was. No idea how accurate that is, though. Me? Nothing. I'm just a pawn in the pipeline, you see. What? Pipeline? Well, who would want to attract Grimm anyway? Well, Salem, but she's neither here nor there for this story. My sources are anonymous clients who operate under code names. Even if I wanted to tell you, I don't know exactly where it comes from or who it goes to. If they've got the cash, my connections move the units. Understand? And then my loyal crew takes to the streets and makes sure the job gets done swiftly. <laughs> now, is there anything else I can help you with? I'm not satisfied, but I'm also tired of talking to you, so that'll do. For now, if we need more answers, you better believe we'll be back. Why aren't we arresting him? Like, seriously. He just burst through a building with a giant robot and started tearing up the street. <laughs> <laughs> yep, chapter cleared. And I'm guessing that's what the achievement was. Chapter 3, Playing with Emotions. If all the hidden achievements are... Oh. General Ironwood? Ah, uh, our newest huntresses. Thank you for coming. Lieutenant Colonel Harper was just filling me in on what you discovered in Atlas. We believe Amancio Glass has an accomplice in the military who is supplying Elysian weaponry to his operation. What about the orbs? Are those from Arrowfell, like you said? We don't know where those came from yet. But we know what they do, and how they do it. Team, you've met Branthorn Mame. Of course. We met in Essen. We know the orbs can attract Grimm. Hmm. Do you know how they work? Dr. Palandina said he thinks the orbs are containers. For emotions. Raw emotions that draw Grimm. But that's not possible. For one man, it is possible. Amancio Glass? No. Glass is just a distributor. Hanlon Fifestone. Mantle's most celebrated union leader. How does he do it? It's his semblance. He can extract pure emotion. And these orbs can contain it. Which means that... Five Stone is using the orbs to incite Grimm. It could be his plan to instigate an attack on Amity Tower. We can't let that happen. 
Go to Mantle, find Five Stone, and stop him. Well, check it out. Don't worry, sir. Extracting emotion. That's quite a unique semblance. Hmm. If anything, it's actually... It's almost similar to Ren's semblance in a way. And then it's emotion-based. Although Ren's is like... It's masking emotions and then... Well, as I said, I'm going to be spoiling Volume 7 and 8 from here on. So if you haven't seen them, go watch them. But his was masking emotion and then being able to essentially see the emotions of others. But here, this is just like, I can uh, take them. I, I wonder if it causes like whoever he's taking them from to be emotionless from then on, or at least for a temporary period of time. Or if he's just like kind of uh, taking his own emotions. Hmm. Mantle is quite the city. Compared to Essen, it's sprawling and densely packed with citizens. Thank you for finally pronouncing that town's name. That's right. Fifestone can't be tracked down so easily there. And if I may say so outright, unlike Atlas, the conditions there are... unfortunate, really. Yeah. But you can't really avoid the rough spots and consider the search thorough, can you? You'll just have to do your best, Team Ruby. <laughs> A place to start might be Mantle City Streets. Allow me to show you. Mantle City Streets West. Right. All right, we'll start out um, by searching there first. Thanks. It's been long since I've stood in these hallowed halls, but of course, it was my expertise on the matter um, by which Ironwood summoned me back for this visit. Hmm. That said, my purpose still lies in defending the common people of Solitos as their lead guardian. Okay. Hmm. Team. You'll head to Mantle, track down Five Stone's whereabouts, and put a stop to his operations. Team. Alright. Sight. A slight note. You said he was a union leader. Like, what are we talking here? As in, like, he fights for the good of the people? Like the Happy Huntresses? If so... Like, th this has me a bit concerned. So... While I was away, it sounds like you uh, took well uh, to your first missions. I'm pleased to know I can rely on my newest Huntresses so readily. But the responsibilities have only just begun. If the Amity Tower project is truly at risk, there will be many battles ahead. Oh, there will. So... That all? Alright. Anything else to say? My boss, uh, Winter, makes you fill a satisfaction survey. Please let her know navigating the academy was super easy. Okay. Uh, winter must be a joy to work with. Well, a joy if you do what she says. The late Academy's latest real skill is a very experienced exploration mayor, but did you know you can choose to harness there? Whenever you're ready, each point can enhance. Since you're his team, you'll have to decide much. your skill point. Hey, you Huntresses really recently helped out in the Aesops, didn't you? Knew it. Nothing gets past the nosy soldier of Atlas Academy. They're so skilled at what they do. Especially my buddy Marrow, with his height and fondest senses. What a cool dude. Not just anyone could be in the Aesops, by the way. There's been a lot of heartbreak over the matter. Or so I'm told. The Aesops all graduated from the Academy with highest honors. Hand-selected um, by General Ironwood for their physical ability, intellect, and most importantly, semblance. Hmm. All of the Aesops have to bring a semblance to the table that pairs well with the others, or else the team just doesn't work. Anyhow, I can't imagine why they'd need any help whatsoever, but I guess it's nice they decided to throw you a bone. Hmm. That's interesting. So they are specifically, like, selected for their semblance, which... I, I can definitely see that with Vine and Elm. Their semblances are basically perfectly complementary. They even look similar in a little bit. And I guess Clover's com 
kind of... Actually, yeah. It actually makes sense as to why Clover would be the leader of the team. His semblance effectively complements everyone due to being good luck. Hmm. Marrow and Harriet's semblances seem kind of like the odd ones out then. I mean, they're kind of the opposites of one another when you think about it. Harriet's is super speed, and Marrow's is literally to stop something in place. Okay. Pietro, M Maria, you two have anything to say? Ah. Team Ruby, good to see you again. Hey, Doc. Huh. Say, what ended up happening with that unusual orb? We handed it to the authorities. Um. Although we're still not clear on its origin, General Ironwood is concerned because it seems like it might be Atlesian tech technology used to attract Grimm. Goodness, attract Grimm, you say? I suppose the container was full of something that could bait them out. Ugh. Who would wish to create such a device? Hmm. We're hot on the trail of, uh... <clears throat> Halen Fifestone. Uh, seems like he might be the one behind all this. I know I just heard the name, but for some reason I drew a blank on it. Fifestone? That activist from here in Mantle? I can't imagine what he would be trying to do. I hope you can track him down. Anything else to say? You know, Fifestone paints the picture of himself as an honest guy that fights for the people. Here in Mantle, he's well regarded by many. Is he? Ugh. Don't suppose you can uh, trust what you, know, you see too easily these days. Huh. You girls are looking for Halen Fifestone? Every time I check my scroll, it's the latest something or other about that young man. He sure likes to get it, uh, on his soapbox and make a lot of noise if you ask me. Well, as much as I uh, got, often got the latest tea, this time it's run cold. Can't say I know where he is. However, I do know the streets here in Mantle might be a good place to start. Okay. Side note, before I do that, since it seems to be a combat zone, let me go hit a save point real quick. Just so I don't have to do the boss fight over again, presumably. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. About the achievements, I mentioned um, that one of them was to pick up a bunch of skill points, ten of them to be specific. But another one is to apparently kill, like, 25 enemies using uh, Weiss's semblance, which, I mean, kind of easier said than done, to be perfectly honest. I mean, it's a lot easier if you can do something like that and have them be right next to it, but that's going to take a bit of grinding. There's also one for Blake's semblance, which I imagine you have to kill them specifically with a shadow clone. I'll do that off screen. Same th Oh, there's also one to kill 50 enemies with projectile attacks, which... I mean... That little area, uh, that little boss area, actually seems like the perfect place to do that. Since there's two Beowulfs, they're, they're probably going to take a minute uh, to both kill with projectiles, but at the very least, you can go back and forth uh, uh, to respawn them, keep killing them with the projectiles, and then just go right to the save point to replenish your aura. That's what I'm probably just going to do. Make it easier on myself. Oh! Who are you? That is a giant wrench. Oh, God! That wasn't what I expected. Uh... Whoopsies. Oh, so you have mm, just a regular melee attack as well. God! You take a surprising amount of hit- oh god, not you. Four of points, please. Thank you. I'm sorry, what is that up there? Uh... 
Are you something I can hurt? Yes, you are. Oh my god. Oh, that works. to go there, but what's down here? Besides more bats. Huh. Nope. Okay. So that's not... Wait, I'm sorry. Did the projectile deflect? Oh no, it just hit something. Huh. There's like a lot of little spots here that I need either a... Yeah, I'm probably just gonna need a higher jump. Whoops. Hey, Yang. There we go. That's a good way to do it. Huh. Nope. Okay. Well, that hit it. Barely. I'll just do the grinding thing on my own later. If I can skip an enemy, I will. Oh god, is that a Queen Lancer? Oh god! Oh uh, no! Okay, need to get out of here. Need to get out of here. like the second time I've run into you in front of one of these things. I think there was one I went to and you weren't there. I wonder if I had gone to it earlier you would have showed up. Salutations, my favorite huntresses. Penny, why are you here? We are in Mantle, and I live here. Oh, uh... oh yeah, I suppose that makes sense. Also, my official protector duty must carry forth, even at home. I will unravel the mystery, and you will do it perfectly. Uh... What kind of mystery does an official protector unravel anyway? That is classified. <laughs> it's so mysterious that even you don't know what you're doing, do you? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, she's just perfect. But check out this gate. It is the third unusual gate I have found. Okay, yeah, if I had gone to... I suppose I kind of missed one of these interactions then. Why would one of these be here in Mantle? I do not know. Like the others, it has a strong magnetic field. I cannot detect the origin of its power. Wait. Then what do you know? I have known many things. My internal knowledge bank is vast and updated daily. In what topic may I enlighten you? Huh? Are you making a mockery of me? Well, I'll dis- Why, I'll disassemble you into scraps of- Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we better head out. Thanks, Benny. Uh, good luck with your mysterious mission. Thank you, best ever huntresses. Since it is the third unusual gate I found, it is a logical assumption there may be even more. I will not give up on processing this data. Hmm. I guess... Hmm. That line from Weiss. I know there's probably going to be, like, someone who thinks that maybe that line was a bit out of character for Weiss, but... I mean... That's kind of exactly the type of haughty attitude Weiss, like, had back during the Beacon arc, or at least Volume 1. So, 
And it's not like Weiss's attitude has disappeared completely, I mean, even at this point. She could have just slipped back into it for a brief second. I still would like it if she hadn't said that to Penny, but oh well. It's not a big deal. Oh my god. Uh... This is gonna be fun. Can you? Oh. Okay, do you hit me diagonally or is it... Okay. Your only attacks seem to be, like, directly ahead. Especially right now. With... God. I just had to wait. Just had to wait for a few more points. Please tell me this is one of them. Yep. All right. Three more points, I believe. Yep. alley. Okay, I guess I had to, like, come here in order to... I had to go through there to find this. Welcome back. There's plenty to buy. Okay. Uh, oh, yakisoba. I guess it's imported from Mistral, maybe? Like, Atlas doesn't seem like the type of place to have this. What? Okay. A tasty stir-fried noodle dish that restores four hearts. I have got, like, lien to spare. Um, you know what? First off, get the extra heart, because I'm going to need that. Second off, I'm going to carry a revive ring, because so far I don't really need lien to like, for anything, really. Hmm. Blah. Uh, you know what? I'll take the yakisoba. And I'll take a wonder potion small. Bye -bye. Just because... Why not? <gasps> Crow! Well, well, look who made it all the way to this side of Mansel. Uh -oh. Uncle Crow! Weren't you supposed to be an Atlas? Yeah, about that. A bickering match with your sister is enough to make anyone want to skip town. You two really need to learn how to get along. Winter? You saw Winter? Mm -hmm. Sure did. She was headed into the academy. To tell you the truth, I made off with Winter's saber just to take her off. <laughs> but I'm tired of carrying it around. How in the world did you take it out from... Like, how did you take off with it without her noticing? You can give it back to her if you feel like it. I honestly don't care. If she's at Atlas Academy, we must have just missed her. Eh, I wouldn't feel too bad about that. Besides, you got your hands full with this Fife Stone business. Wait! Uncle Crow, have you been doing that thing where you follow us around in bird form again? And a concerned uncle, keep a watchful eagle eye out. <laughs> That's not even the right species of bird. What do you know about the whereabouts of hail and fire? Hey, yeah. I can't pronounce anything. What do you know about the whereabouts of hail and fife stone? I keep wanna say I keep wanting to say firestone for some reason. It's a big and dangerous city. You're not gonna find them just by wandering around. <sighs> Not to mention a guy that high profile doesn't really benefit making his whereabouts too now. Good point. Thankfully, my stealth and thinking ahead are about to make your life so much easier. 
Okay, spill it. What did you do? Surveillance drones. Five of them to be exact. The moment I got word about this guy, I set them out, uh, set them up throughout the crater caverns. You're welcome. Uh, crater caverns? A network of various underground tunnels below Mantle. My father's company used to mine them for dust until there wasn't any left to mine. Of course. Yes, and with the way this guy moves from place to place, I have no doubt he's traveling under the ground. I'll show you exactly where I left him. Ahem, <clears throat> map Q. Oh god. I'm gonna have to search all of them, aren't I? Huh? Didn't you say you planted five surveillance drones? Why did you only mark three places on the map? Are there like... Is there like one in one of them and two each in the others? <laughs> Look, with everything going on, I forgot where I planted the last two. So what? Oh. Damn it, crow. Find those five surveillance drones, bring them here, and I'll think of, and I think I'll be able to help you pinpoint the whereabouts of five so. Okay. They had those self-contained surveillance drones in pretty hard to reach places throughout the crater cavern, so they wouldn't be discovered, you know. Don't think you'll be able to find them just hopping around all casually. Keep that in mind. Ugh. And uh one more thing. If you go see Winter at Atlas Academy, you don't have to tell her I took her saber. Yeah. What am I supposed to tell her? Like, why else would I be walking around with this thing? What does it say? Winter signature weapon the crow snuck off with for kicks. Again, how did you sneak off with it? The story of Halen Fifestone is a uh, true inspiration. Did you know he worked his way up uh, to Atlas and uh, enlisting as a soldier? A soldier to fight for the people. Coming from his roots here in Mantle, Mr. Fifestone saw firsthand the imbalance in wealth, the corruption, the greed, and sought to make a difference. He gets a bad rap with that lazy and folks for deserting military duty and becoming union leader, but he's got a point if you ask me. Mantle deserves equality. They they do, honestly. Mantle was really mistreated. I mean, look at this! It, it looks terrible! Seriously, Ironwood, you talk about wanting to help people, but you can't even, like, spare any help for Mantle? At all? You ever notice how merchants in different places have different things? It's true. Not only that, but some items when they're sold out, that's it. Luckily, maybe another merchant has what you need. For instance, if you buy a skill point from one, maybe another one somewhere else still has one waiting for you. Actually, that's a question I have. Your skill points, are they like, are they actually some of the skill points I have to gather to fully maximize Team Ruby's stats? Or are they just extra ones? in case I don't find all of them on the map. If it's the first option, then maybe I should have saved up Lien for getting them, but in that case, I'll just save them for last, because you're usually only in small areas that I can easily get to. Can I hit that? Yes, I can. But it's just four of them. Hey, cat ears! Um, yes, Blake has cat ears. Excuse me? Wow! Oh, that's a cute voice. You're a faunus like me! Oh, yes, it would appear so. Is there something I can help you with? It's just that you're not afraid to be out and about? Uh... What's to be afraid of? Oh... You haven't heard? I guess it's not being publicized the way it should. Typical. Faunus disappearances. Faunus like us are suddenly going around, missing around Mantle. Nobody knows why. That's terrible. We had no idea about all of that. As Huntresses, we have a duty to protect. We'll be on alert if we hear or see anything related to this. Oh, wow. You mean to say you're all Huntresses? And you? You're a Faunus and a Huntress? Double wow. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone's fan club has a new president. I'm not strong. Not the way you all are. Honestly, if you can think of a clever way to hide my faunus traits, I'd appreciate that. I mean, you could have a bow, but I understand what you mean. 
Once upon a time, I wore a little black bow to hide my ears. I stood in plain view, nobody any the wiser. Um... I could swear I held on to one of them. Where did I put that thing? That would do the trick for sure. If you happen to find something like that during your missions... Actually, what is your mission anyway? You're allowed to say... You're allowed to say, or is it all top secret and stuff? We're looking for a guy by the name of Halen Fifestone. Oh! You're looking for Halen Fifestone himself? The self-proclaimed spokesman of Mantle, yeah? You don't find guys like him looking here. We'd have a crowd of riled up cheering folks in the streets if he gave one of his fourth people speeches here. Could you imagine the traffic jam? His broadcast from Mossa and Grotto yesterday looked like a madhouse. Wait! Wait, you know where this guy was as recently as yesterday? Yeah, but he's probably not there now. If you want to check it out, you can get to Mossa Grotto by way of this road here, and... Alright, thank you. Oh god, it's a combat zone. <laughs> Hey, thanks. We'll go check out the area. My pleasure. That place seems as if it would be a ghost town on a regular day. Doubt if anyone even lives there. But by all means, see if you can find clues. Good luck with your mission and stay safe. Especially you, cat ears. <laughs> she really is gonna be a new president for Blake's fan club. God, how many how many people are in Blake's fan club at this point? I figure Yang would naturally be the president. <laughs> She can't uh, go two seconds uh, without looking at her. <laughs> There's probably also Ilya, Sun, basically everyone. Do you say anything else? Oh. With the Faunus experiences, it's really a bit scary to be out and about. If I had something to help hide my Faunus traits, I'd feel a lot more safe. Okay, so maybe I can find a black bow for you. Mr. Fifestone is going to create a future for the people of Mantle. Those Atlesians that assume the worst in them just don't get it. You look like Winter Schnee. Only, you can't be her. Ah uh, yes, Blake looks like Win I I'm always like talking to these people as the wrong character. <laughs> it's kind of funny. She's Atlas. So Atlas Academy never comes to visit Mantle. In fact, we've only ever seen her in government broadcasts. Really? She's never come to Mantle once? That's... Huh. I'm actually surprised. Winter, I thought you would. Where is she? There she is. Ah, my sister and her fancy cohorts. I may be fancy, but I am not a cohort. What's a cohort again? I would have thought you're out and about with your new Huntress roles taking- mm. Hold on. Um, everything cool? Is that my saber? Get that back right now. Okay, calm down. <laughs> That's sisters for you, always borrowing each other's stuff without asking. That's actually a good excuse for that. Good job, Yang. Yang, you know where we got that. It was Crow who took this, wasn't it? You know him too well. Uh, well, I'm not saying it wasn't, Crow. Uh, oh. Oh, hey, shouldn't we be getting back to our mission now? Halt, Team Ruby. Weiss, come forth. Oh, please tell me you're gonna tell Weiss how to upgrade her semblance. It makes the most sense. You have the same one. Yes, Winter? My dear sister, I've watched you. You've grown, but not quite enough. <sighs> Just what exactly is that supposed to mean? Oh god, it's your famous line. What is that supposed to mean? You gotta fit it in here somewhere. You are careless and inefficient with your dust usage. Do you expect to carry out Hunter's duties representing the Schnee family like that? What am I meant to do different? Don't just criticize, give me some actionable feedback here. Yeah, you, you actually have to give feedback. If you're just saying, oh, you're doing it wrong. Well, that doesn't really help then, does it? I need, like, a basis to work off of. Very well then, allow me to teach you how to be better. Glyphs Plus! See, you got it down. That's how you use your dust efficiently enough to create a second glyph platform from the same amount of materials. Winter, I really hate to admit when you're right, but I think that genuinely helped. Thanks. Wait, 
Weiss, you hate to admit when she's right? You love your sister. You adore her. I'm surprised. Now, in return, if you could help me with something. <sighs> of course there was a motive involved. All right, what task do you want to offload on us? The Schnee Dust Company is under contract to make preparations at a new potential mine site. Due to my relations, I've been assigned to oversee it. However, I wouldn't consider it an olive branch between our father and General Ironwood or anything. The contract was in place since quite a while back. Uh, of course. The site shouldn't be too difficult to find. It's located about here. Well, that's specific. So, what kind of preparations do you need? For starters, it's something of a grim nest. Nothing your team can't handle, but they'll need to get it cleared out before mining can begin. Why hasn't the Adlesian military already cleared it out? Hmm. Sounds like fun. Is that it? While we're at it, we will need to collect a dust sample from the deepest accessible cavern for confirmation of viability. Mine's no good if the dust is poor quality. I'd hate to think the Shinee Dust Company invested in a wasted effort. When you retrieve that dust sample, please bring it here. Weiss Assemblance Glyph has been enhanced. Weiss can now create two glyph platforms at the same time. Use them together to reach greater heights. Alright, how high does it go? Whoopsies. Didn't mean to... Alright. If there's one thing I wish that the upgrade had done, I wish I could activate it manually. Like, the attack. Instead of having to wait for it to happen. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Thornmane, Olive, and Ironwood are all gone now. You have anything to say? You haven't forgotten, have you? Okay. God, go everywhere. Do everything. Huh. That's interesting. The first two creator caverns are locked with an exclamation point. Why is the third not? You two got anything else to say? No. That Schnee Dust Company always has some noisy construction going on. Why, I doubt if I'll ever see the end of it in my lifetime. Uh... <laughs> You might, Maria. You just might. <laughs> if they're opening a new Schnee mine site, that means there's no signs of them stopping. Ah. You know what? Let's go here first. Well. Good thing I got the upgrade. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, Yang? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Um, let's do the smart. Come on. There we go. I will save the little... I'll save the Queen Lancer for last. Or Queen Lancers, in this case. Oh my god, how many do there need to be? Over here a little. Okay. In that case. Let's see. If these are the only ones left, that means I can probably just do this. If they're only gonna attack forward, then I can basically just spam this and avoid getting hit from them entirely. Oh god. Oh that's that took care of itself rather easily. Ow. 
Actually, this works out well to grind up for that achievement. Come on. Oh my god, how many hits do they take? There we go. Come on. Just need the lancer to be your oh god. There we go. Whoopsie. Now I'm just screwing up. There we go. That wasn't so bad. The glyph semblance is actually- Oh my god! Uh, damn contact damage. That glyph semblance is actually gonna come in real handy now. What? Another ambush already? Oh, please don't be it. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, God. Get up here. All right. <laughs> Weiss, I need you to use your semblance to get rid of a lot of the... Great. Come on. Uh, of course. Can, um... No. Come on. That'll work. I gotta hit, uh, I gotta kill a bunch of enemies to come up with a semblance anyway. Oh god! Alright. Alright. Okay, now I'm just screwing up majorly. Away from there. Oh god, I'm I'm about to die. Come on. There. Just right there. Right in front of it. There we go. I may need to escape from the area at this point. could use some aura. I could also really use the game to, like, register my jump fully, but okay. I need a lot of hearts, and real fast. Okay. I feel a bit better. Oh my god! Queen Lancer all of a sudden. Huh. 
Hey, Weiss. Nope. That's not gonna work. Just gonna ignore all of you. Well, that was convenient. This is obviously going to require an upgrade to Blake Semblance. Because she can't... I'm going to need at least another Shadow Clone to do this. So, no point coming down here. Alright. May as well just head back. I'm really... And the, um, that the ambushes don't respawn because I have to come back here, but they shouldn't. Come on, go past. It was immediate. That one was my fault for not paying attention. Would you get over here? God. I'm not gonna risk hitting that thing on contact. Um, who might you be? Moss Berbear? Why, hello there, well, hello there, young ladies. Welcome to Mosset Town. I am its humble mayor, Mayor Moss. Let me show you all around our lovely little villa. Um, dude, y you're kind of the only one here. First, we'll check out Duck Rock. It's our local duck-shaped rock. No shenanigans, it was shaped that way the day I found it. I'm sorry, what? Then onto our natural spring. That's where old Moss takes his mayoral baths. Ew. Oh, and then there's the... Uh, sorry to interrupt your mayor, dumb, but this doesn't look like much of a town. <sighs> That's because it's not a town and he's not a mayor. It's just a smelly old cave listed on the map as Mosset Grotto. Huh? Grotto? Hm. What a reductive misnomer for our wonderful little village. <clears throat> I'll have you know, Mosset... Uh, folks come from far and wide to visit the enchanting Mosset Town. Huh. I find that hard to believe. Yeah, where are they then? Why, just the other day we had four lovely young ladies visit our quaint town. Tourism is booming. That's us! Oh yeah? Huh. He's talking about us, sis. Unless he's talking about Team Briar. Uh. Oh, yeah. Name me another town that sees a 400% population boost in one day. You can't. Those kind of numbers are only possible in a magical place like Mosset Town. Grotto. Listen, Mayor. We're here looking for a guy named Galen Fifestone. Apparently he was here yesterday with a crowd of people, news cameras, the works. You couldn't have missed a thing like that, right? <sighs> well, I sure didn't see anything like that. It might be because I wasn't here at all yesterday. But if you're looking for someone, maybe they're visiting Duck Rock? That's where everyone would want to go. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. Where were you? What kind of mayor isn't around for an, an event like that? So you admit he's a mayor. Oh, I was oh. out all day looking for my ghost shock. It, am I pronouncing it? What? Your ghost shock? Actually, do you uh, uh, think you could keep an eye out for her? Uh. Your what shock? Yeah, what is that? It's our uh, town bird. Beautiful plumage, incredible wingspan, and the most amazing dusting of blue and gold upon its feathers. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. We've only got one go shock in his uh, last week. I can't find her. I'm getting so worried, and not just because of the different population. You want us to find your duck? Ooh, go shock! 
You'll know her when you see her. Only in Mossop Town would you find a bird like her. Or Tumac Ruins, since that was where I first found her. Yeah. Right, but we're looking for the Sky Fife Stone. Orphaned she was, my precious Goshuk. Discovered her fallen from her nest as a wee chickling, no mother anywhere to be seen. Uh. He's not going to stop, is he? No, he's just gonna keep rambling. Nope. <coughs> I used to love taking my Goshuk to Tumac Ruins, her favorite place to visit. Oh, I sure wonder where in the world she could be now. Maybe she's at Tumac Ruins. Mayor, we really don't have time for- oh. Your story is so sad. We'll find your precious Goshawk, Mayor. Welp. So, this is a thing we're doing now, huh? Better have some info on Hale and Fifestone when we get back. Uh. <laughs> oh, damn, what? Be sure to oh, check out our duck shaped- mm -hmm. Oh, it's you, Fog. Did you find my precious Goshawk? We did not. That's his bird thing, right? Most beautiful plumage can't wait to cradle on my arms again. Visit her favorite place, Tumac Ruins. Oh, she loves that place. We won't let you down, Mayor. Reunion is imminent. <clears throat> Get me out of here. Hmm. I'm just gonna exit the location. Am I still recording? Yes. Okay. Uh... Let's go here. Uh, why s why did you not? I guess it has to be literally on top of it. Alright, that works. There we go. It needs to be a skill point. Yep. Only two more. Oh, I'm liking this song. Sounds awesome. Uh, okay, this is a this is a whole thing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Hang on. Oh no, not you! Oh god. I need aura, and I need it fast. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna have to go about this smart. Whoopsies. Get over here. Oh, really? They're working with the Grim now? Ah, just when I got the aura. Okay. Oh my god, that's not what I expected. Um, half the intermediate and two. Let's just use that. Okay. Don't care, I'll take the hit because I think you're all that's left. Yes, you are. Skill point. Oh no, it's just one of the surveillance drones. One of five. Small flying drone that's been recording footage. Crow secretly planted five in total. Uh... 
I am going to go to the Essen Outpost real quick just to save my game and get just, just heal up because I kind of need it. can go on for a little bit longer. Let's see about the Schnee mine. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh no, I can't do anything here. I need Blake's upgraded semblance. Uh, in that case... Where was it? Didn't I discover the Tumac? Yeah, okay. I forgot where it was for a second. Alright, we're looking for a duck. We are literally on a wild goose chase. in the ruins that like had a spot I had to double jump or like I couldn't get to with my normal jumping ability but I for the life of me can't remember where it is I, I kind of wish the game had a map system especially considering you have to come back to some of these areas Actually, it's kind of weird it doesn't have a map system in that case. I think even Shante had a map system to a degree. Please don't take me out of the air. Okay. Okay, not there. Yeah, right here. Not a duck. The go shock. Well, I found it at least. The beloved bird that went missing. Let's get her back uh, to where she belongs in Mossa Town or Grotto. So I'm just gonna be holding this bird in my pocket somehow. Really? Okay, that's a that's a bit of a weird glitch. I kind of which wish would be fixed in the patch. Because, I, I, I guess not even really a glitch, oh, really, it's just, like, why does it appear above white? I feel like it should always appear below her. Or at least on top of her. Because that just seems counterproductive. God, now I have to go all the way back to him. Oh, God. It's at times like this I actually wish I knew how to edit footage. Because if I did, I would just cut out in this part so you didn't have to watch it. Oh, well. Uh, God, I've forgotten where it is already. Also, is this enough? Enemies, God! I was 
ready for you that time. There you are. Welcome back. Have you four been enjoying the town's many- My ghost shark! Yeah. Oh, yeah. We found your bird. Oh, my precious baby. How I've missed you. Wherever did you find her? At those Tumac ruins you kept going on about. Hmm? Well, I'll be. It never dawned on me to check there. Can I have her back now? Hmm. Nah. I understand. She's easy to get attached to. Just listen to that squawk. But I really must insist. I just realized... Does this bird look anything like a real-life bird? Like any type of notable species? Or does it look completely fictional? Because I know that the novels kind of started introducing some more fictional animals. I think there was this giant turtle thing. I can't remember exactly. It's been a while since I read that. But... Yeah. Huh, I wonder if this is just like another fictional animal in the Ruby universe. All yours. I'll have to look it up uh, later, actually. Like, is there such a thing called a ghost shack? Oh, my wonderful little ghost shack. How I've missed you. I'll never let you out of my sight again, that poor bird. 20 Leanne says he loses her again before we leave. And since one good deed deserves another, you know where Five Stone is? <laughs> Even better, I give you the surveillance drone. Huh. Oh, thanks. Uh, does it come with a gift receipt? <gasps> where did you get this, Mr. Mayor? You do. Um, from some strange man as a birthday gift. Only it wasn't my birthday, and I have no idea what it is. That was definitely from Uncle Crow. Mm -mm. Not a crow, a ghost shock. Unless you meant our duck shaped rock. Also, not a crow. <sighs> Let's leave this place while we're still able. Enjoy your go shock. Ooh, thank you all for locating my go shock. She's more than just a bird and a friend. She's Mossat Town's mascot as well. <laughs> mascot. <sighs> damn it, Barb. Or damn it, Yang. <laughs> Yang, please don't encourage him. Oh, oh, oh I like that. Mascot. Mind if I use it? Please don't. Please don't ever use it. Uh... I'll explore for a little bit more. Oh, right. Can't do anything about that. Ah... Uh. Not the new Shiny Mine, so I guess this is my only choice. Crater Cavern 2. Well, this is gonna be annoying. Alright. Oh god. Had to time that right. <laughs> Hit. All right. Whoopsies. All right. No big deal. Is that uh, skill point? Yep. One more. I had no idea how it didn't hit me. I really feel like it should have. Well, good thing I just got that heart. Something tells me one of those giant machines is gonna be. God, the little swindlings. Um, well, that's my fault for not paying attention. Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Good. Come on. 
Well, that was a lucky dodge. Okay. How many more? Come on. Hold on, you were in like a terrible spot in that second. Should be the last thing. Yup, there we go. Which one was it? Hmm. Over. Perfect. That should be a surveillance drone. Yup. I'm sorry if this part is a little long, I'm just trying to get through as much of it as possible since I've been away for a little bit. Huh. I'm curious. Okay, no, apparently not. Oh, achievement unlocked. More than a name. That's for killing 25 enemies with her semblance. Alright, so I didn't need to grind for that then. Uh. God, where do I go? I'm kind of stumped here. Uh, because I feel like... Yeah, if I do that... Yeah, I'm not going to have enough time. I need two Shadow Clones for this. But I also need two Shadow Clones... Well... Actually, no, I don't. I don't know what I'm thinking. Get that. Come on, boys, hurry up. Oh, wait, I may actually. Because I need to press on this switch to... I'm a dumb. I'm a... Big, stupid, dumb idiot. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Alright. Oh my god. Thank you for the work. I am not even going to mess with you. Something tells me you're not worth it. Huh. Well, that was just for some cash. Let me guess, an ambush? Yup. Remember when I said I didn't want this game to be full of ambushes? Well, I guess that's what I'm getting. Uh, Weiss, can you finish them off? Apparently not. Okay. Oh god! 
know this is a terrible spot. Come on. Come on, get down here. Okay, um... Oh god, I am in like a terrible... I'm gonna need a revive ring real quickly. Okay, um... Just use that. Really? That? No idea why she was just standing there. Also, I have no idea how that didn't hit me. Go. Please be the last enemy. Please be the last enemy. There we go. Let me guess. You were going to be a surveillance drone. Oh no, you're a skill point. Achievement unlocked. Quite the collection. We're holding 10 skill points. Well, I have the achievement. I may as well just use him now. Uh... Let's see. Yang, let's increase your attack. Let's increase Blake's attack. Actually, I'm taking quite a few hits, so let's, um... Energy heal... I don't really care about the ranged attacks. I mean, for Weiss it might be good because it includes her semblance attacks. But... Eh... Actually, that makes me wonder if the if the achievement for getting for killing 50 enemies with range attacks. I wonder if it'll count if I do all of that with Weiss's semblance. I doubt it. Ah, uh, may as well just go for the basics right now. There we go. Well, at least I have a revive ring. Alright, come on. Don't hit me. Come on. Oh, really? Go. Are you gonna be? No. God, guns galore. I know it's Ruby, but there's such a thing as too many guns. Oh, I'm liking this song, like the jazzy remix here. I kind of was expecting you to, like, I guess, to come and hit me and not the actual... Oh my god. There we go. Alright, how many enemies are in here? Definitely need the aura. Let me get the surveillance drone. 
Oh, a dust stamp. All oh, right, because we're getting this for winter. Why is there a platform down here? All right. Winter, or come back with the stuff. Looks like you were successful in following my orders. Hope the new mine wasn't too much trouble. Mind if I have a look at that dust sample? Actually, no. Excuse me? What are you waiting for? I need a dust sample. I know, I just like um, being kind of a jerk. I mean, if, if a game gives you the option to be kind of a jerk and there's no penalty for it, you may as well take the option just to see the funny dialogue. Oh dear, I can tell right away our father won't be happy about this. Is he ever happy about anything? This dust is full of inert specks and imperfections. Well, Atlas Academy has carried out our end of the deal, so that's that. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, I meant to say, this was discovered in the Atlas Academy Lost and Found. And doesn't it belong to the Faunus Girl? Oh! I have a name, you know. It's Blake. But thanks for this. Yes, right. Well, I'm rather busy. Fine now. Okay. Winter, I know you're a bit standoffish, but you can at least, like, remember Blake's name. It's kind of... Hmm. I, I mean, I... Yeah, I'll just let it go. The citizens of this kingdom are very reliant on Schneed Dust Company for not only its product, but the jobs it provides. When relations with the council are shaky, it's not good for anyone. Yet I know how father can be. Yeah, God forbid, uh, like, it would be terrible if he got uh, a position on the council. God knows how much havoc he would create. Hint, hint. Where is she? You still here? <gasps> oh, what have you got there? This must be the black bow you mentioned. Can I try it on? I'm not gonna deny that. I am not going to deny you. You, you seem very sweet. Here you go. Oh, I love it. Not only would this hide my ears perfectly, but it looks stylish in the process. It does. You can keep it if you'd like, but uh... is it really what you want? To hide your true self out of fear? Oh. Well, I know of course that our strength in numbers matters, and I am proud to be a faunus. <laughs> Okay, I've decided not to wear the bow. Living a life in fear is not what I'm about. But I will keep this as a token. It's a reminder to have pride in who I am. I stand boldly as Faunus. <laughs> I'm very pleased to hear that. It's that very same Faunus pride that my secret to getting uh, mo the most out of my semblance, you know? Did I, did I misread that? It's that very same Faunus pride that's my secret to getting the most- Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's your semblance? When you focus on being proud of who you are, it's amazing what you can do. The most out of your semblance? Mm -hmm. That's right. Why not give it a try yourself? Channel your dignity and execute your semblance once, and then again. <gasps> Go, Faunus Power! Look at you, you're amazing! Yup, Shadow Plus. I really can get the most out of my semblance through your technique. I owe you my gratitude. Oh. Just like you had my back, I've got yours. Faunus Pride. Blake's semblance shadow has been enhanced. Blake can now summon an additional shadow clone. Use them to solve complex puzzles or flank enemies. Three times the Blake. Three times the Blake and everyone was happy. Always a fox. That's nice. You are very sweet. I hope to see you again. Three surveillance drones. I'll be able to best once you got all five. Once you check Crater Caverns, Mantle City. Where else? Ah, oh, that's right. There were parts of Mantle City where I needed like the additional jump and such. Oh, and now it's highlighted because I guess I also needed the additional shadow clone. I think 
it's probably been an hour and a half since I started. In that case, I think I'm gonna call it here. I'm probably also gonna grind off screen to get the achievement for killing a bunch of enemies with Blake's semblance. But I won't subject you to that. But, again, I'm having uh, a lot of fun uh, with this game. It's just, it's been such a blast to play through. And it's always nice to see an expansion of the lore and such. Like, getting to see more of Solitas. Though I do have some thoughts about that in relation to the spinoff material, but I'll save that for next time. Because I don't want to stall it any further. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all again next time. Have a good night.